Welcome to my unboxing of the Buffalo Air Station WLIH4 D1300. More importantly than the model number, what does it do? This is a wireless AC media bridge. So what does a media bridge do? Basically, it's a glorified Wi-Fi card because the intention of this particular device is just to give you a way to use your brand new wireless AC router. Remember guys, or well not remember, unless you've already seen the other video, in which case remember. Wireless AC is a 5 gigahertz dual band 1.3 gigabit per second wireless standard. This is the next generation standard that will at some point in time be completely replacing wireless N as what everything is using. Although right now it is still in its infancy as of the time of doing this unboxing. It is in draft 2.0 standard. However, according to Buffalo, it works. So very, very cool stuff. Um, dual band media bridge, etc, etc. Okay, let's see what get Buffalo has to say for themselves. So it's dual band 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. It is backwards compatible with existing wireless standards. So it is also N450. Uh, so 450 megabit per second there and AC 1300 1.3 gigabit per second there. It has 4 gigabit Ethernet ports on it. It's multi-device capable, hence the 4 gigabit Ethernet ports. It's also multi-platform, PC, Mac, or mobile, which it should be, um, given that it's using wireless standards to connect to things. They're showing you how to set up your AC network. So there's your home router, there's your glorified network card, and there is your wired connections going out to all of your devices. So when I say glorified network card, what I mean is really fancy network card because you could not only use it as a network card and connect it via a gigabit wired connection to one PC, so you would have in theory, gigabit wireless connectivity, but you could also take it in its glory and connect it to four devices, which assuming they were all fully utilizing the maximum theoretical bandwidth, they'd all still be getting about 300 megabit per second in terms of connectivity. So that's pretty crazy given you'd be splitting it four ways. Remember guys, this is all theoretical. So when it comes to wireless performance, the ratings don't include things like overhead or interference or all that other, that other nonsense that tends to interfere with wireless. However, one that is theoretically faster than another one theoretically is, in the real world will be faster, even if those theoretical numbers don't pan out quite the way that we want them to. So in terms of included, stuff. We've got our CD connector, which gives you a wizard for setting it up. We've got our quick setup guide, which basically involves if you have the corresponding AC router from Buffalo, this guy right here, which looks a little different. Not very different, mind you, but a little bit different. Uh, if you have the corresponding AC router, should be pretty much a one-touch thing. We've got a couple of little feet, which will help us stand up our little air station media bridge guy right here. So you just put those down there and they slide into the appropriately slotted spot, just like that. Yeah, there's a better angle, there you go. And we've also got a power adapter, a couple of screws, piece for the power adapter, and finally, their awesome flat ethernet cable that is like awesome in every possible way. We have one here in the Tech Tips Lab and Slick and I both fight over who gets to use it. Um, right, so connect up to four wired devices to your ultra-fast 11AC or high-speed 11N wireless network. Once again, it is capable of both. So, having a quick look at the physical unit itself, we have a reset switch on the bottom, which, whoops, there you go, might come in handy if you ever need to reset the device to its factory defaults. On the back, we've got a power button. We've also got power in, so this is great if you want to power cycle it and you don't want to just yank the plug and put it back in. Uh, we've also got our uh, 4 gigabit LAN ports and look at that, a hardware button for setting it to 5 gigahertz fixed mode. So that'll change it from being in multi-modes, so 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz to just 5 gigahertz for Wi-Fi. Remember guys, wireless AC runs purely on the 5 gigahertz spectrum rather than relying on the older, now older, 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. So what that means is slightly reduced in theory, range. However, the technologies for transmission strength as well as antennas continue to move forward to compensate for it, but also significantly less interference due to the underutilization of this band compared to the overutilization of 2.4 gigahertz. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the WLIH 4D1300 from Buffalo, and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.